So as you can see, I am still at the hotel, but I really, really, really wanted to do this video. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, actually. So let's get on with it. So for me, when I'm working with my patients, I always give them handouts. No matter what I've diagnosed them with, it's super important to me to make sure that my patients understand what's going on with their bodies, to make sure they understand the treatment plan, because a lot of the success, whether that treatment plan is successful or not, really depends on whether the patient understands the serious is the seriousness of their diagnosis and what they need to do at home so i love to give handouts the only thing is that sometimes if i'm really in a rush and i'm trying to pull up up to date or whatever website i use for handouts sometimes it can be a little time consuming even a few minutes is time consuming for me when I have patients waiting and I, my adrenaline's pumping and all I need to do is get the handout and the computer's going slow or whatever. I'm just trying to get this handout. Oh, is the other patient ready? Okay. So you guys probably remember this from one of my very first videos, the video that I made about what's in a nurse practitioner's bag. I brought this out and I mentioned that I keep my handouts in here. So I've had it for a while, which is why it looks so beat up. My name's on the bottom. See, it's kind of beat up, but it's my baby, so whatever. Okay. Inside, you can see my different tabs. I have low, I have back and neck stretches. I have child psychiatry, child psych. I have asthma. I have, what is this? Family planning. I have suicide psych. So instead of going through all of the tabs because of course you can make whatever tabs you want this patient handout file that i have is basically things there are things here that i see frequently so what works for me and what i have here may not be what you see frequently so you just adjust it to what you see frequently so my back and neck stretches I have just several handouts that I like to give my patients. Whenever I find handouts, then I add them to my little file here. Um, neck therapy and exercises. So all of the different handouts that I really like, I have them here and I just copy them. And I just make sure that each uh, section, I make sure I have at least at any given time 10 or so, 10 to 15 copies. And when I have 10 to 15 copies, I always have enough. I can just run right to my little folder and grab what I need and then I'm done. Um, just to give you guys some more examples. For family planning, I have our family planning consent form. That depends on the facility you work in. Suicide psych. If I have some patients that are, I just like to give them this handout that has several resources they could call for crisis and suicide prevention. Smoking cessation, I found this online, the American Lung Association. And I really like it because it actually lists what's in a cigarette. And it just goes down all of the different things that are there. And I wrote 1-800-QUIT-NOW because you can get free patches and lozenges and things for smoking cessation through that number. 
And just a couple more. This is pretty self-explanatory. Up to date, I like the diet, the um, patient information, diabetic um, and diet, the basics. Uh, I really like the patient handouts and up to date. So a lot of my handouts come from there. But when you look online, you can find handouts everywhere. I found the American Diabetes Association Blood Glucose Journal. And I really love to give this to my diabetic patients. It has been a struggle for me getting my diabetic patients to realize that when you come to an appointment for diabetes follow-up with me, please have your numbers. Please have your blood sugars with you. So because I'm a new provider, a lot of the patients come and they don't have anything. They just come like I'm here to follow up on my diabetes. And I'm pretty much getting my patients on the same page you come, you either bring your glucometer or you bring your blood sugar log. And I always give them a copy of the log. Oh, don't forget to record your blood sugars. It's really hard for me to give you what you need if I don't know what your blood sugars are running from, you know, if I, I want to see them. So that helps. And just a couple more, guys. Uh, I love the up-to-date low-sodium diet patient handout. For my patients with hypertension, I love this. Do you have high blood pressure? And it just kind of lists some things to be aware of and it just gives the patient a little bit some tips. You guys are definitely familiar with this, the Average Infant Formula Feeding Guideline. I really like this um, to give to my new mommies, my new little mommies. And I do keep a copy of the Depo Provera calendar we give a lot of depot and it just sometimes if the facility is out of the depot well, we're, we're never really out of them but I hate searching for things I, it just takes too much time when I have my own little stash of forms it makes life so much easier for me I will say the last in the very last pocket I just have random things in there. That's where I have my depot calendar. That's where I have uh, the proper foot care for diabetics. Um, any little thing that I want to stash back here is there. So this little file is very nifty. I really love it. It saves me a lot of time. And I think if you guys have one, if you're interested, it's really easy to make. I got this from Target. It was $4.99, I think, and I bought it almost a year ago. And they still have them there because I was in Target a week or two ago and I saw them different designs. And it's not too big. You see, it's actually pretty small. Let's see. So you can see compared to my body, it's really not that bad that is it for you guys i'm about to go out have some breakfast have some fun and just relax and um below you can find all of the links to my social media where i am on instagram on facebook on youtube and you can also find the link to the nurse practitioner binder group um, we do have some handouts in the files on the binder group and I'll make sure I post more handouts too in the binder group where you guys can download the handouts and if you like this little idea um, you can also have this to help save time. Any amount of time you can save really helps especially when you're new and you're slower like saving two minutes per patient that helps a lot. <laughs> I hope this helped you guys and I hope you have an awesome Monday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck.